so I'm going back to South Africa with my family. We uh, weren't gonna go, now we're going. So, my reindeer, Mikey, are you ready to go to South Africa? Yeah. Ooh, who's ready? Are you ready for an adventure? Yeah. Oh. Hello, Kiki. To go. Okay. Hello. Hello. What can you see, Nina? Okay, let's put on a seatbelt. Okay, let's go to South Africa. T1, T2. T2. Dubai House. Well, we have our tops of coffee ready for the day. China is an amazing place to call home, but a good break to South Africa is like food for a hungry soul. We take a taxi to Pudong International Airport in Shanghai, crossing the Hangzhou Delta Bridge, one of the longest aqueducts on the planet. We're very excited to leave the grey winter skies for a couple of weeks of blue skies. going to go this term as ticket prices are ridiculously expensive but Karin remained diligent and found affordable tickets with Cathay Pacific Embark from Hong Kong with a mere 19 hour flight to Johannesburg into the land of blue skies. It seems as though we're making a habit of stopping for Nando's before we do anything else in South Africa. It is our favorite fast food chain, making any Portuguese guy very happy. Soon after though, we take the road down to our first quick stop, Bloemfontein, Freistata. Eugene flew in from Mali and we flew in from China to have a good get together. It's always good to see Omas and grandchildren play. Nina loves Omas' tortoise book. I wonder if she would love to get to meet a tortoise. Okay. Remember last year? Bloemfontein truly is the place for a good time in water spray. It's one thing we wish we could have provided for Nina. A life on a farm with space and spaces.
Then there's coffee. I always drink a lot more coffee while we're traveling. Of course, a simplified white Americano is the way to go when on the road. You have a tortoise? Well, to look at. <laughs> Get to the side so it doesn't get scared, guys. Wait, man, it's not going to be No. Well, you can stay. But what happened on this bag? That's a scratch. His shell is there to protect him. Well, I think by a kiss and only. Is it okay? Is it a way to fix it? Well, you can polish it, I guess. <laughs> we need to give that tortoise some salad leaves. Hey, that tortoise has some flowers on his shell. Oh! It ate they have a small house in Port Alfred, but to be close to the kids, they've opted to stay on the small holding with my sister, where they help out whenever they can to uplift and improve things for us kids. To stay busy, my dad befriended a panel beater, where he spends his hours with derelict cars, making them prettier before he sells them again. Some mornings, they'll take the daughters to school, go buy groceries, walk the dogs, and so on. I rent a South African-made Momsen mountain bike from Indira Planet in Langenhofen Park. After a short search on DuckDuckGo, I have a couple of days to explore some of the places around, from the seat of a bicycle, and I'm excited to see the free state from such a vantage point. It's time to renew my driver's license, so I get ID photos taken, do eye tests, etc., as it's a drive to Boerteville, about 60 kilometers north of Bloemfontein. I thought I'd double up on this event with a cycling trip back to the Free State's capital. As a warm-up, we go cycling around the block to the old conservancy, a place left to decay through nature's plot and vagrants. The unused land grows thick with vegetation and thorn bushes make for an interesting ride. Okay, what is on? Gaat of wat? Of uh... K. 
Okay, wow. Is here what the swing bar? Oh, so good. Okay, let's go swim in that. Okay, we're going to swim in the water like my last water. That was great. What is it? Thank you. The next morning, we get my paperwork in order and hit the road, north towards Brandfurt. I get there at a good time, but after 120 minutes of being sent forwards and backwards to houses where old men print official government papers in their underpants, we throw in the towel. We often say that we didn't leave South Africa because of this or that or anything, but I gotta say that I just spent 90 minutes at the traffic department in a small town to renew my driver's license. Uh, this is the last day I have to do this. Uh, the printer's down. This is what they told us 90 minutes later, which means that I can't get my driver's license. As usual, my dad took the opportunity to come and shoot some birds. I start the journey a little outside of town, as I've noticed that Vincent van Gogh's brother has a gravesite here and I intended to locate it. Maps that uh, Vincent van Gogh's brother was buried here. So I'm gonna go look for the grave. Don't think I'm too far away. Well, I can follow the map more or less. Let's go see if I can find it. it says it's over there somewhere. There's a gated one in the front. I'm gonna walk there and see if I. Woo, thorns! I don't want to get a flat tire. Thorns are no jokes. I don't think I've found his grave, but anyway, it's still cool to walk around Brandfort, Mandela's gravesite. Yeesh. I throw in the towel the second time and head down to buy snacks for the road. The town looks unsurprisingly run down. Absolutely no maintenance has left Brandfort in a state of disarray. Yeah, I assume we're going to be plasma going. Alright. Exit at Brandport. I'm on my way to Plimfontein in some way or form. I'm not that fast. And I'm already out of gears. So it's gonna be a slow ride. But it's a fun ride in the free state. Here we go. They must have uh, redone this road recently, well, not recently, well, since the last time I was here about 10 years ago, 10, 12 years ago. Uh, they put up a toll gate, so you need to pay money. No water in this one, during Sprite, it's dry. That's about a joke I heard. I'm cycling through the Free State, I should read a book about it. Uh, it's 
written by some British guy hundred and odd years ago. He uh, didn't really like the Free State, so he made many jokes about it. And he wrote something like, Free State is a wonderful place. There are many rivers and uh, it's very safe. When you have a problem, when you fall into a river in the Free State, the first thing you have to do is don't panic. The second thing is stand up, dust yourself off and uh, walk out the river. <laughs> yeah. Running out of fluids way too fast, it's very hot. Very, very hot. There's game everywhere next to me, but I haven't seen anything. Let's see what he's up to. Yep, Dad stopped at uh, what looks like an old rain railway station. Here can your car, I can't park here. We're not in the mood to find out if I have to pay for the toll gate. So for the next 100 meters, I load the bicycle onto the bucket. Your machine is. Yeah, I see. Wrong. I see. I see. I see. I can't record. How much? 50. 50. Okay, thank you. I can't even claim that it's 200. Oh, that's still 20. So. Bye bye. Not your mistake, man. This is for the two of you. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah, I knew it. Are you ready? Three, two. That was fun. The sun's hot, really hot. He's not gonna fly. I'm not gonna make him fly either. That is one beautiful bird. Goodness me. You are, buddy. But you are beautiful. Taking the turn off at Glen. Uh, it goes to Marcel Sport. I actually thought Marcel Sport's way on the other side of Bloemfontein. Shows what I know. What is our legacy? I 
I'm almost at the top of the hill. This was quite a climb. It's amazing the difference a little bit of altitude can do. I should do some altitude training. If I wanted to do Karakaram, I need to do some altitude training. Goodness gracious. So we're on the outskirts of Bloemfontein and uh, I'm calling it the day. 